welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to my channel welcome to medcode insight hi i am nishaba a certified medical coder in this video we will cover vascular injection procedure another and important topic in cardiovascular system we will also explore vascular family using appendix cell and review guidelines to help you solve the question more easily additionally we will do the practice question to reinforce your understanding of this concept without further ado let's get started A vascular family starts with a vessel that comes off the aorta and includes all branches of that vessel. The aorta is the starting point of catheterization. Branches are categorized into first, second, third order and beyond. Cardiac catheterization is a non-surgical procedure in which a tubular medical device or catheter is inserted into the blood vessel in the leg, femoral artery, or arm, radial artery, and moved to the coronary or heart arteries. It allows physician to diagnose and treat diseases of the heart muscles, valves, or coronary arteries. It is used to give intravenous fluid blood transfusion, chemotherapy, and other drugs. There are two types of cardiac catheterization, non-selective and selective. Non-selective catheterization involves inserting a catheter into the femoral artery and advancing it only to the aorta. Selective catheterization involves inserting a catheter into the femoral artery, advancing it to the aorta, and continues to other vessels beyond the aorta at the physician discretion. Appendix L is a vascular branching model. Assume the aorta, vena cava, pulmonary artery, or the portal vein is the starting point of catheterization. In vascular family, branches are categorized into orders and families. An order can be first, second, third, and beyond. Selective catheterizations are coded according to the highest level when accessed within the same vascular family. When coding for the highest level, it includes all of the lesser order selective catheterization used in the approach. For example, if a second order vessel is catheterized, the first order vessel and non-selective catheterization are bundled together. In selective catheterization, when additional first order or higher vessel in vascular family different from previously selected and coded family are accessed, they should be coded separately with modifier 59. In selective catheterization, additional second order and our third order arterial catheterization within the vascular families of arteries and when supplied by single first order are expressed by code 36,012, 36,218 or 36,248 is appropriate.
In vascular catheterization coding, it is essential to follow specific steps to ensure accuracy when selecting the correct code. First, determine whether the catheterization is selective or non-selective. When the catheterization is selective, identify the blood vessels that were catheterized. Refer to appendix L to identify the order. When two or more blood vessels are involved in catheterization, for blood vessels of the same family, for different orders, quote the highest. For blood vessels of different families, regardless of whether the order is same or different, quote separately and use modify 59. Select code based on the location of the blood vessel. For upper extremity thoracic or bronchospelic region, use code range 36,215 to 36,218. For abdominal, pelvic, or low extremity region, use code range 36,245 to 36,248. For renal region, use code range 36,251 to 36,254. A 60-year-old male with history of tachycardia present to the emergency department with epigastric pain and hemostasis. The patient is escorted to the endoscopy suit for selective catheter placement to localize the bleeding. Under ultrasound guidance via right femoral approach, a catheter is advanced into the aorta, celiac, and common hepatic arteries. Via the same catheter, a microcatheter is introduced in the gastroduodenum artery. Angiography is performed within the vessel. What are the procedure code for the professional services? Option A with code 36246, 75726 along with modified 26, 76937 along with modified 26. Option B with code 36247, 75,726 along with modified 26, 76,937 along with modified 26. Option C with code 36,246, 75,726 along with modified 26. Option D with code 36,247, 75,726 along with modified 26. As the catheter advances into vessels beyond the aorta, it indicates that the physician performs selected catheterization. Since this catheterization occur in the abdominal region, we select codes from the code range 36,245 to 36,248. To solve this scenario, let's determine the order of the vessels using Appendix L. Via a right femoral approach, a catheter is advanced into aorta and directed into celiac artery which falls under first order and represented with code 36245 then into common hepatic artery which falls under second order and represented with code 36246 a microcatheter is then introduced via the same catheter into gastroduodenal artery which falls under the third order and represented with code 36,247. Since all the arteries belong to same family, only the highest of the catheter placement will be reported, which in this case is third order represented with code 36,247. Based on the guidelines, we eliminate option A and C with code 36246, which is used for second order catheterization. In the next step, we will element options based on the additional codes provided in option B and D. Both options include code 75726 for vessel angiography, which is performed in this scenario and should be reported separately. In option B, Code 76,937 is used when catheterization is performed under ultrasound guidance, which is also the case here and should be coded separately when performed. 
the modified 26 indicate that the professional services is provided. Therefore, the correct option is option B with the code 36,247, 75,726 along with modified 26 and 76,937 along with modified 26. The physician performs a selective catheterization of the right renal artery and renal angiography. The puncture site was right femoral artery, which CPT coding is reported. Option A with code 36,251 along with modifier RT, 36,200 along with modifier 51, 75,625 along with modifier 26. Option B with code 36,245 along with modifier RT, Option C with code 36,252. Option D with code 36,251 along with modifier RT. In this scenario, the physician performs a selective catheterization of the right renal artery and renal angiography through the right femoral artery. Since the catheterization involves the renal region, we will use the renal code range 36,251 to 36,254. Based on the body region involved in catheterization, we eliminate option B with code 36,245 used for abdominal catheterization. We will also eliminate option A with code 36,200 which is used in case of non-selective catheterization. A selective catheter placement includes procedure code 36,200 to gain access. Both options C and D are used for renal catheterization. The course depends on whether the procedure is performed unilaterally or bilaterally. Since the scenario involves catheterization of the right side only, the correct option is option D with code 36,251 used for selective catheter placement in the first order of the main renal artery and any accessory renal artery on the unilateral side. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or need for the clarification, please feel free to write in the comment section. For more detailed guidelines, CPC MOS exam related questions and notes, email me at the giving email ID.